guys, so our goal today is to be able to retell and sequence the story. There was an old lady who swallowed a bell. Do you think we're going to be able to do that by the time you leave? Yes. I think so too. The lesson today, my kids were just retelling a story by using a blue bot and they were to code the story in the order that the little old lady swallowed the different items. And so they were just focusing in on the words algorithm and debugging because that's part of com computer science. And so that's what I wanted to teach them today. All right, if you all will make a big circle for me. All right, so we are going to use, what type of robot is this? What's its name? Blue bot. Yeah, it's a blue bot. So we are going to use our blue bot, and we are going to pretend that our blue bot is the little old lady. And when we use our blue bot today, we're going to use some new words. So I want you to repeat this word after me. What about the It's right there. I was about to say, what about the reindeer? Okay, I want you to say the word algorithm. 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 We are going to be using our blue bot to sequence codes when we code it with the buttons. Okay. And when we do that, we're making an algorithm. So when we put these buttons, when we press them and make them go in a certain order to code the robot to the pictures that we're trying to go to, we're making an algorithm. Yeah. All right. So a lot of people think that just using big words with kindergartners is like way over their head, but it's not. So whatever I want them to do, they can do it. I just have to do it in a um, way that is appropriate for them. So I just used words that they understood with that big word. So they know what a sequence is. They knew that they were sequencing a story. And so that's why I threw in the word algorithm because it is just a sequence and they were doing that with the robot. Now, every time that we use the blue bot, do we always get it right and do we always get it to the right picture card the no. first time? We no. We have to try. Sometimes we mess up, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have to try again. We are going to, you do have to try again, but I want you to say this word. Say the word debug. 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 So if we mess up, we might have to debug. We might have to think, hmm, how can I redo that? What can I do to take that error away. So we might have to think, well, maybe I went up too far. Maybe I didn't go far enough. So we're going to use those two words today when we put the story in order. Who's ready? Yeah. All right. You all can close the circle in just a little bit. Yeah. Like, well, don't get too close. Um, like about right there. Too close. All right. Okay, um, Parker, can you code the robot so we can get to the first thing that the little old lady swallowed? What was the first thing that she swallowed? The bell. The bell. All right, do you see the bell? All right, before we touch it though, let's talk about the direction he's going to go. So show me with your finger how he's going to get to the bell. I know, I know a way. All right, it's Parker's turn. Oh, that's a, that's All right, so Parker said it's going to go up one, up two, then it's going to turn, and then it needs to go straight one time. Do you agree with what Parker just said? Yeah, I agree. All right, yeah. Parker, you can press the button and let's see if he gets there. I'm not two. Two, three, no cut, and then four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're going to see what it does. We've got to push straight. Parker, I forgot to push But didn't we just talk about a word? And what you was that word? What was the other word I said? Algorithm. Sometimes we I might have to green. debug it. So Parker didn't get it there, but what can we do? Can we, we still fix it? it? Yeah. 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 We then, might need to clear out the brain. memory, the brain. Great. So go ahead, One. Parker, clear out the brain. One, two. Very good. Yay! Hey, did you just fix the problem? Yeah. You did. So uh, all my kids didn't get to program the robot during that lesson, but they all participated in some way. So 
you are going to be given this map, and we're going to start here, and the arrows go this way. So we'll go what she swallowed first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So I'm going to give you a paper. You're going to get a glue stick and scissors, and you're going to work on this. And so that worksheet at the end served as a, like an exit ticket. It let me see who understood that story, who was able to put the uh, story in order. And I was able to see before they left, like there were a few that didn't, um, they weren't able to put the story in order. And so I know that I can relay that information back to their classroom teacher and she can continue working with them on that skill. All right, so let's talk about it. So she swallowed the bell, bell then the bow, and then the did she swallow the stack before the gift? I think we should fix that. Yeah. So one of the kindergarten standards is to be able to retell um, a story and to sequence a story. And so that's exactly what those kids were doing. They were identifying um, how to put that story in order. And they did that with just a robot in a hands-on way.